Hi, my name is Eric Burnskjold, and in this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to use the uh, white balance tool in order to set the white balance quickly and easily on one or a series of different photos. Now, when you work inside of Camera Raw, um, you have several different, as, as you do in Lightroom, you have several different options on how to set the white balance. First of all, you do have the white balance presets, which I've currently got set to auto. Um, you which you have daylight, cloudy, everything. You also have the possibility to go in and try and control this yourself, and we can get we can get somewhere fairly quickly by just adjusting the temperature somewhere which is more neutral than where we perhaps started here. But the problem is when this is very hard or might take time. If you have something that is neutral gray or white, you can use the white balance tool to figure out the numbers for you. You can do the calculations. So in practical studio shooting, what you do is in the first shot, when when you have your light set up before anything changes, what you do is you have your model or your assistant or anyone hold up a gray card. Right, preferably your model hold up a gray card, you take a shot of that, and then you have the possibility of using the white balance tool to set your white balance all along. So what you can do now is select the white balance tool and just click anywhere which is supposed to be, it doesn't have to be in the image that you're seeing, but it's supposed to be neutral gray. I know the middle of this background is supposed to be neutral gray, so I'm going to click here and see what I get. If this isn't what you like, you might want to move up and down from where you're selecting in this case. But this is, so to speak, a much better image. If you look at the whites, you might find this in at least the eyes of Steve. Now, they're not perfect whites, but they generate a fair white balance. Now, I do like this better, and it perhaps it needs just a tad of tweaking at the end since I didn't use that full gray card. But the beauty of this is that you can go ahead and sync this. So if you open 10 or 20 images inside of Camera Raw, you can choose to sync this throughout all of your images. So you only need to make the correction to the first image, and then you sync it across all the rest. And they're going to get perfect white balance because the light's not changed between the images. So that's how you use the white balance tool inside of Adobe Camera Raw, inside of Photoshop and Bridge and to quickly and easily create white balance settings and make sure your white balance is spot on.